everybody it's nicole um it is tuesday the 23rd and uh so today i am going to be working on a, a crochet um crocheted puff flower and this particular item is going to be worked into um a resin item uh, that I want to work on. So the um, premise behind it is essentially similar to uh, this piece, uh, but um, for those of you who may have not seen my previous resin pours, I had used uh, crocheted items in resin. So I know some of you had um, said that you wanted to see something more and maybe expand that. So what I'm going to do is uh, integrate the two things that I really like to do, which is crochet and resin. So uh, the first step is to crochet something. And I figured why not start off with something simple, not anything uh, outrageous or crazy so what I'm going to do is I found a nice and simple um like embellishment I guess you could call it so I was like thinking do I want to do bows do I want to do a flower you know or something of that you know manner so I you know was kind of taking a look at the many books that I've that I have that actually I had gotten from my grandma. She's the one that uh, taught me how to crochet when I was like maybe, I don't know, seven or eight years old. And so um, some of the crochet books are really old. Uh, some of them actually are kind of falling apart. And so I don't know how much longer they'll be good. But in any case, um, I did see something that resembles a puff, uh, flower, a crochet puff flower. So what I did was, is I went onto YouTube and I found a short tutorial on how to do it because the pattern that I found in the book was kind of all like, um, models and whatever. And I, yes, I know it's something that's really simple, but I wanted to make sure that I got it right uh, to get, you know, the look that I wanted it to have uh, and that it was done correctly. Um, so I did find one. Um, let me see who the person is. And uh, the video is uh, two years old. So uh, it's the creator is Happy Berry Crochet. Um, and, um, I have not seen her, uh, crochet and I take it back. Uh, this video is four years old. So, um, like I did with the, uh, stocking cap, what I'm going to do, this is not a tutorial. It's not anything like that. All I'm going to do is, uh, kind of go through the pattern um and it's you know it's looks like a very simple pattern it's double crochet single crochet slip knot nothing fancy and so what i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the leftover uh yarn that i you that i used with the beanie and the only difference is is i'm going to be using a different hook um, I have many hooks. I'm sure for me, for a lot of you, you have many different hooks for different kinds of yarns, different kind of patterns, sometimes even for days where your hands are feeling fatigued uh, or sore or whatever the case might be. So um, if you didn't check out that those particular series of videos, um, you can go back and check it out. Um, it, that particular um, pattern is a Bagode crochet pattern. So it's crystals. I think it's like her. It's uh. Let me see if I can take a quick look at my playlist. So. Um, and that's the other thing. If you want to. 
um, look at anything that I've ever done, uh, you can go under my playlist labeled all, and it should have all of the videos that I've ever made. Uh, so from what I can see, it is 248 videos, not that many. Um, I'm not any sort of like, uh, I don't know, YouTube fanatic. Uh, so the other thing is, is, uh, my giveaway is still going on. Giveaway ends tomorrow. Um, that's the pink yarn. So it ends, um, on midnight, the 24th, it will be closed. I'll be drawing for it on Sunday. And then I do have another giving giveaway for the purple yarn. Um, so, um, and that video was, I just posted yesterday. So as with all of my giveaways, you must watch the whole video to the end to get the secret word. So that's that. Um, so what was I looking for? Um, if I can find the most. Okay, so the uh, pattern is her easy base, uh, easy beginner basic blue hat. So it's three parts, and it was not a crochet along. It wasn't like a tutorial or anything like that. It was just me doing it the way I want to do it, and kind of showing you, you know, uh, how I started it, and then on and on stuff like that so this is going to be step one of the resin project which is uh creating the um crochet piece and then um my next step uh which will probably be let's see so today's tuesday so tomorrow what i will be doing is i am going to be uh well, i'm going to take a look at the moles that i have because um what I want to do is pour the resin in uh, to get it to be more of a quote unquote 3D effect because I think that's what some of you were looking for to have it kind of pop out of or look like it's floating in the resin. Um, so what I'm going to look for in my molds that I have, because I don't want to buy a new mold until I kind of got this whole idea down, is um, I'm going to pour the resin so that uh, so I can prop the mold on an angle, okay? And then I'm going to let it cure completely. And it's going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it, pour the two parts, mix it all up so I know that it is done and incorporate it correctly. And then I'm gonna add some glitter to it, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of pop. And then uh, pour it into the mold and then prop it up so that it's an angle, okay? And then let it cure completely so that it's uh, solid. And then what I'm gonna do after that, my next step, is going to be is I'm going to take my crochet flower and I'm going to put that in there. And then um, I know some of you were talking about like possibly incorporating like um, maybe some snowflakes or whatever it is. So what I was thinking is some of the glitter I have has uh, shapes and stuff. At least I think so. Or I do have crystals. I'll show you the um, crystals that I have. So I have some of these uh, stones um, here and I'm thinking I'm going to use the stones and maybe some of the glitter just very minuscule or I'm going to like pick out like what like you know actual single pieces of glitter um, and have it put in the resin so that it gives it more depth if that makes more sense. So that's what I'm gonna do at step three, okay? And then what I'm gonna do 
uh, once that is all cured, after I've got the yarn piece in, the, uh, the crystals, some glitter, and I pour more clear resin, um, let that completely cure, I'm going to unmold it, and then we're going to glaze. So I'm looking at a total um, amount of steps of four. Now, if you want to, come along for the ride and we'll see how it comes out. So, um, as I said at the beginning, I am going to be using um, a pattern uh, that I found on YouTube and it's um, from uh, Happy Berry Crochet. It's a four-year-old video. Um, I will, um, I'll do my best to remember to put a link of the video in the description. Although I'm sure a lot of you probably know how to make these flowers, but I'll put it in there anyway. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. So the first part is I'm gonna show you what the yarn is that I'm using. Um, so it's the Lion Brand, just my stripe. And it is a medium four weight, if you can see that there. And it is in the color Bubblegum. If you remember, it's got that pink and gray color. And then, um, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to use snowflakes. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. Because that's a couple of steps away. Um, and then, the hook that I'm going to be using um, is my furls um, hook. And it's this fun like i don't know highlighter orange I, I think this is like one of their one-off hooks because it doesn't have a lot of the swirl in there but i love it because i love the like almost highlighter orange in the size i or five and a half uh five and a half millimeters okay um so um what we're gonna do now is hop right to it and i uh, start working on the flowers so uh Hopefully the video doesn't take too long because as I said, the pattern is really simple and um, this will be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this too. Um, and then if you stick with me long enough uh, through the entirety of all of these videos, um, there may be a giveaway on the very last video when I finish this project. Uh, so. Uh, stick with me because actually, yeah, let's do a giveaway. That's always fun, right? Um, I have a lot of fun things that I want to give away along with the stuff that I have uh, purchased and collected for my live that I want to have. But um, let's do this. And uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. I have picked up a couple of new um, Ohana members. And for those of you who don't know what Ohana means, it means family. Don't always like the word subscriber because it's a very generic and uh, non-personal word. Uh, so uh, welcome to the Ohana. This is a judgment-free zone. We talk about all kinds of things along with this kind of stuff, which is all the fun stuff. And I do want to include vlogs um every so many videos because i think it's important to talk about th those uh the mental health and self-care and all of that stuff um and i have a couple of other announcements as well um but i'll talk about that later after this project is done but i am going to be doing a giveaway uh once this particular project is done so um you don't know when i will be putting the secret word in but uh, I guess the incentive is is to keep checking the videos and also have fun. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So we're going to pause the video. I'm going to flip the camera, camera around uh, so we can get started on this uh, crochet flower. Okay? All right. See you on the other side. Okay. So um, we will start with a slip knot. Um, you can choose to do a um magic circle this is my preference um so first will be uh chain four and like i said this is not a tutorial so 
four, one, two, three, and four. All right, now we will slip stitch into the first one. Today, while it is considerably warmer today here in uh, Oklahoma, uh, it is was still chilly. Um, we got freezing rain yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before. And while it did rain, uh, it was still cold. It was uh, 34 this morning, so there was still the ice. Um, and so I had to go start the car which is always fun and try not to kill myself by uh, uh, slipping on the ice. Uh, so anyway, um, there's that. So I ha uh, try not to slip on the ice. I almost ate it on the sidewalk to the uh, car. And so I started the car and then um, had to get rid of some of the ice that was on the passenger side door and all of that stuff so anyway all right so we have the four um and then i have slip stitched it to uh, uh the beginning to make a circle you can see there we've got that hole there next uh we need to chain one and then we are going to uh, single crochet uh, six times here That's two three Four, five, and six. Okay. Now, let's see if we can. Tighten that up a little. Two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So going to Apologize if I'm getting in the way here. Okay, so um, what I did is um, I did not like the way the stitches were looking. They were looking all wonky. So what I did was I frogged it and I restitched it. So we have six stitches um, and then um, I uh, slip stitched it. And then uh, the pattern says uh, two single crochets. And now um, we do uh, double crochets. So uh yarn over and i'm sorry if sometimes this ends up like my hand is in the way or it's too close or too far away still kind of trying to get a handle of this because yeah it's not i'm not necessarily great at this and so anyhow 
apologize in advance. So um, we are going to yarn over and then uh, in that seam stitch, we're going to pull through and we're going to do this, uh, I believe it's five more times. So yarn over and then, um, sorry. And then um, it says to pull it so that um, like maybe less than an inch because this is gonna be the size or height of each of your petals and we're gonna, it should end up with six petals. Um, pray for me that this is how it ends up. Sometimes uh, it's not always how it ends up for me and I have to frog it and do it all over again. Um, so, all right, so we're gonna do this five more times. So yarn over and that's two. And I'm trying to keep this as loose as I can. Um, that's one. Two. Three, four, and five. Okay, so now it's yarn over, and then we're going to pull through all of these loops and then pull through and then um, pull this back behind to give it that um, puffy look. Does that make sense? I think so. Okay. So now um, I am going to uh, finish up the rest of the petals uh, and then um, I will show you what I end up um, on the other side. Um, and then mainly because I want to keep the video as uh, short as possible because I know sometimes I tend to uh, talk too much. Um, I don't know. I have a problem with that. My husband says that I tell a story in the most roundabout way and when it is absolutely unnecessary. So I'm going to pause, finish up the remaining uh, five petals, and then show you uh, what it ends up before I finish off. And, um, or um, anyway, I will finish up um, to maybe, uh, you know, number four. Uh, or whatever it is uh, so that you can see how it ends up and how I finish up the flower and then um, what I plan on doing. Okay, be right back. All right, um, and one thing that I missed. Okay, so I pulled through. Um, it, so I pulled through and then uh, to secure, you chain one, and then chain two. Whoopsie. God, I hate it when that happens, all right. All right, uh, and that should be good. So um, again, I think it looks okay, and um, I'm going to finish up the remaining of the flower and um, I will show you uh, how it ends up on the other side uh, and uh, it shouldn't take me too long. All right. 
Okay, so this is the last petal that I'm finishing up and working on the last of these double crochets. And you know, what's frustrating is, is the lack of strength in my hands because of like arthritis and the fibromyalgia and all that nonsense. But we're gonna get this done. We're on the last petal and then we can finish off and um I th you know obviously i have pink in it but you know flower is not big enough to do that so um so we've got that's two it's three Last one. And we can finish this off, pulling it through all of the loops. Single crochet and single crochet, single crochet. And then we are going to slip stitch to finish this off. Pull that through to get that nice fluffy look. And we all pull that, make sure. I think this came out pretty good. Um, I know my petals aren't like completely even, but I think this came out really good. Let me see if I can pull this close a little bit more. Um, I mean, I think it came out all right. Yes, I know if it had been a magic ring, I'm sure that that hole would have been smaller, but I'm happy with this. I think I'm um, pretty pleased with how this came out. Let me get that tail out of the way so I can uh, finish this off a little bit better. All right, my scissors. All right. And I'm not gonna like it doesn't need to be finished off like fancy or sewn in because um, it's just going to go into a resin mold. Now, if I was attaching this to say, you know, like a blanket or a bag or something like that, um, or I don't know, a cardigan or shawl or whatever, I probably would do a better job. Um, but I just want to make sure that it looks the way it should and it does um so let me just see if i can get that in there and tie the knot on this the best that i can so um so for those of you who have come through this with my starts and stops um 
because I needed to stop to get my hands positioned better. Um, and obviously my hands were not cooperating, but I think for the most part, um, the flower came out uh, the way I wanted to. Let me cut this a little bit better. And I do, I do have better scissors. I just kind of grab these. Um, but yeah, um, I think that petal is slightly smaller. I may have missed uh, one loop of the double crochet, but what do you think? I think it came out pretty good. Uh, it is a easy pattern and this is going to go into one of my resin molds and um, we'll make something with it, something fun. I'm thinking I'm going for a like flower in the winter time or um, I don't know, something of that nature. I see bloom um, in my resin uh, and we'll see how it comes out. So um, if you've got through it uh, to this point, I really appreciate it. Um, if you can subscribe, that would be fantastic. So hit the subscribe button, notification button, and the like button. Um, and then uh, comment down below about what you think. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, hey, you never know. In uh, this particular series, I may be uh, giving away some stuff because uh, this is another experiment. So uh, this is probably going to be a four- a video series and I'm going to try to keep them fairly short and you know make all my prep stuff beforehand so that the videos don't turn out to be super super long so uh that's it for today and I will see you in the next one which should be tomorrow which is Wednesday which is when I will be um pouring the base of my uh, resin piece. Uh, I'm debating on how I want to make the base and what the mold will be. And you get to see that tomorrow. And let's have fun with this. This is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I um, will see you then. So uh, talk to you later. Bye.